This is going to be a short demo of the CX20 APM version. I don't have a battery on it right now, but I'm going to put the battery and let it sit and see if I can get some satellites. Um, if I get satellites, this one will be solid green, and this one will be solid when the uh, uh, transmitter binds to the receiver inside. I mean, it will do that. But if you're able to get some control when you take off, that's what I would recommend better. Because then you can uh, control it better and you, you can have an idea of where it's taking it off and, and how far. So then you could have it hover and um, I'm going to try to keep it in the frame of the camera. Now, with stabilize, it requires no GPS, so this is all manual, it's referred to as manual mode uh, on other flight systems. With the APM, stabilizes using all the internal components of the flight controller board, and it allows that to keep the, um, the craft in uh, basically as long as it's, uh, it's configured right, when I go left, it'll, you know, right, left, it'll, it'll go back to center. And that's what stabilize means. It means that no matter what, it's going to go back to center. That all depends on how, how well you have uh, um, configured it and how well you've set up the compass. Um, the other one that you can use is the alt hold. Now the alt hold will hold the altitude of the plane or of the craft. Um, alt hold doesn't work that well when it's this slow. I'm going to give it a shot, but usually it doesn't work that well because of the, uh, it's got a lot of ground effects and ground effects is not a good thing for, for the, any helicopter, any, any, any type of uh, uh, craft that uses a propeller like in this case. So I'm going to try to put it in the center here and I'm going to hit alt mode. Now with alt mode, I'm not touching the, uh, the up down throttle. I'm just, but now it's leveling off with the, um, it stays in that level basically. So I can go left, I can go right, I can go front, I can go back and it'll stay at that level. If I go up on this, it'll start going up and then if I stay at that level and keep the um, keep the stick centered then it will stay at that position as you can hear the beeping signifies that it's it's basically staying in that that position now if it drifts that's normal because alt hold does not have any type of lock on it which means there's no there's no GPS so in alt mode, there's no GPS, which means it'll, it will drift. As you can see, it wants to do a little bit of a yaw. The yaw and the drift are normal, and that's because it's a very sensitive uh, controller. Also, the ground effects that are happening from below are causing it to want to do certain things. But as you can see, it's staying put, and it's, it's basically hovering. If I take it up a little higher, as long as there's no wind, now that's going to be off camera a little bit. So let me adjust the camera. There you go. So with this setting right here, it can hold its position pretty well. Again, it will drift because it's not relying on GPS. So as you see it drifting, you have to you know drift back the other way if I go forward it'll want to drift forward there's a little bit of a draft pushing the craft to the right and that's what you see right there right there it's pushing it now if I bring it back you know now if I go a little higher now when you when you hear that beep that beep means that it's um, it's going to stay at that middle position. That's midpoint. And so midpoint is where you want to keep it at when you want to be hovering 
and, and be in an alt mode. Now the other thing that is cool about this, I'm going to bring it down a little because it's off camera. Okay, so uh, let's bring it down a little bit more. I just don't want the ground effects to uh, to mess up the flight on this thing. All right, so now it's on. It's using all hold. See, it's going the other way now because the draft change. So and also it has ground effect. Again, the ground effect will mess up your flight pattern or your flight characteristics, and it will it can mess with the uh, inside um, sensors basically uh, making it feel like less uh, like you have less control so it usually you don't want to be all hold this low if you do it's typically not going to respond as well you see it shaking doing a little bit of a shake right there again if you look at the ground below it you could see all the how much it's um, it's creating that turbulence, that ground effect turbulence. So if I go up a little and stay there, again I'm in the middle position, then it's not as bad, you know. Right now it, it's not suffering from any of that. The yaw issue has to do again with that the fact that I'm in an enclosed backyard. <laughs> so all the wind that's blowing to the sides, the down, the downdraft. Uh, and the sides are starting to create a little bit of uh, turbulence and it's causing the uh, craft to want to drift one way or the other. Um, one thing that I always say is always, always have your fingers on your sticks. Always, always. Never let go. Don't rely. Even if you're on GPS, do not rely that the craft will just stay there. Uh, you see a lot of videos on YouTube where people just uh, leave their controller down to show how how it stays and that's all great but I would never ever rely on GPS um, alt holds cool because you're still not relying on the GPS system so you still have more control but again it, it requires a lot of uh, impact input from the uh, from the pilot so if uh, you are not that good at flying these things if you've never flown one of these things I mean a lot of times people that have never flown it like my wife for example I had her try it when I was in the field I uh, had her uh, fly it using the uh, loiter uh, GPS mode and she flew great um, the other thing is this has the orientation control which means no matter if it's facing me if I go forward it's gonna go forward if I go backwards it's gonna go backward if I go right and left it's going to go right and left. If I face it away from me, it's going to do the same thing. Right, left, back, and forward. Now that's a little bit too much stick input. So again, you have to be very gentle with the sticks. Now the safest mode again is stabilize. In stabilize, it's going to require more input from the pilot, which means right now, I'm, all I'm doing is leaving the center stick at the center position as you can see and all I'm using is this stick to, to go forward and back forward back but I'm not doing anything with this stick okay and stabilize with that stick you wanna you have to be constantly on it because if you're not it's gonna start going down and up and, and you hear a lot of kids. Well, that's probably one reason. If they uh, were all cold, and then like, I'm gonna switch now to stabilize. Right now, see how it started going up? Well, because it, it wasn't stabilized. So stabilize means that I have to control both sides. And it's more, it reacts better, but at the same time, it can go down, up. So you definitely want to be more you have to have more comfort in flying these things when you want to fly it and stabilize. Uh, alt hold is what I recommend for anybody that's intermediate. I'm going to land it.
try to land it softly. Go this way, back. And now it's not locked anymore because the, the thing is... Broken. 